Hello, I don't know if you're watching this in the morning or the afternoon, but I do appreciate you following that link that we sent you and uh, have come to this devotion that we can do together, hopefully be a blessing to you and to all of our church, all of our people. Uh, we're going to read this morning, starting in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, where Paul's writing, he said, Unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelation, there was given unto me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I, then am I strong. Paul the Apostle uh, said that he was given a thorn in the flesh to keep him humble. He had been given a great number of revelations, more than anybody else, I suppose. He wrote two-thirds of our New Testament under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And he could have been puffed up about that. So God gave him a messenger, a thorn in the flesh to get his attention, to keep him humble, that he could be usable. We can't be usable to God when we're puffed up, when we think we're all in a bag of chips. And we have to be humble so that God can use us any way he wants to, so that God can lead us wherever he wants us to be. So he had a thorn in the flesh. But what we've got to realize is that Paul had that thorn because God had a purpose in it. God always knows what he's doing, and the purpose was for the glory of God. We don't understand why we go through what we do. We don't understand why we have to uh, skip church and why this virus has, uh, has attacked our world. We don't understand those kind of things. But I do know this. God has purpose in it. God has purpose in everything that touches our lives. And everything that touches our lives is filtered first through the fingers of a God that loves us. And Paul sought the Lord three times to remove this thorn in the flesh, but God wouldn't do it. And then finally God told him, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. We're going through a time that's really upsetting for some. I've had people call me, they were crying. Uh, their anxiety level is through the roof. Uh, some are afraid that they're going to get the virus. Others are afraid for other people that they're going to get the virus. And uh, and we don't know what um, where that's going to end. So uh, it's a time of turmoil, especially for some people. I know there are others that feel like our government has really blown this out of proportion. And I, I understand that may be possible too. We've aired this week on the, the side of caution. We're not having church services right now, uh, but we are uh, still a church and we're using this to reach out to our people. Uh, and, and let's understand this. Paul said that he was given this thorn in the flesh that God could use him to a greater degree. I'm absolutely certain that God can use us to a greater degree because of this thorn in our side that we have right now, this COVID-19 virus. What a time to witness. What a time to stand for the Lord. What a time to live in positive affirmation of the gospel so that others that are fearful, others that are leery, others that are worried can see that you're trusting in the Lord. They can see that you're going to be used of God and you're going to come out of this thing regardless of how God takes us, regardless of how God leads us, God's going to do his will in our lives. God help us to understand that it's when we're weak, that's when we're made strong because we're strong in the Lord and not in our flesh. Our flesh is going to fail every time. But our God is always sufficient. His grace is always there for us. And, and Paul said, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. He said, I'll go through the distresses. I'll go through the persecutions. I'll go through the problems as long as God is glorified. Let's, God, let's glorify God in this. Let's be positive. Let's love the Lord. Let's reach out to others. Let's trust God. And let's be what God wants us to be, that we can be a testimony to others. Pray with me. Father, thank you for the opportunity to represent you in a world that for some has fallen apart. God, I pray you give us grace. I pray you give us wisdom. I pray you use us for your sake. Lord, help us to trust you, to walk in faith, and to be used by God through this whole thing. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you.